Hello YouTube, this is Kaito JR here, and I'm here to do another review on chapter 20 of the Aji and Demi Human manga entitled Sucker Punch. So in this chapter, we continue off from chapter 19 where Sato has successfully destroyed the Grand Pharmaceutical Company and is currently in fire and all the firemen are currently trying to put out the fire with... I mean, it's not going to be easy since this, this entire area is going to turn into a battle zone once the Metropolitan Police Department Special Assault Team shows up, which they are the most powerful troops within all of Japan, and they are the ones who are going to be combating against Sato and his subordinates, but we don't see his subordinates. Yeah, Sato. Like, his Sato subordinates are Takahashi, Gan, Tanaka, Okuyama. Yeah, they're going to be helping Sato in the background while acting as snipers and using your IBM as well. Yeah, but well, we don't see that in this, in this chapter right here where the Sato subordinates helping Sato out. We just see, I mean, actually in this chapter, we don't even see them fight at all. I mean, I guess that happens in chapter 21. Right here, this is a preparation just to show all you that, yes, they are about to fight, but the real fight is going to show up in chapter 21. Right here, this is this entire fight is going to be seen throughout all of Japan. I mean, even Sokabe tells it to Tosaki that, um, Tosaki, um, this entire fight is going to be shown all throughout Japan. Yeah, we cannot afford to lose this fight at all. Okay, we have to win this. Yeah, well, same with Sato. Sato cannot afford to lose this as well because if he loses, he's going to be captured. We're going to experiment this living shit out of him, like we've never experimented on anyone else throughout our recorded history before. Yeah, this is going to hurt Sato a lot bit. Or Sato, he was in the Marines, the U.S. Marines, so he's going to definitely be fighting his... He's going to be fighting all 100% right here. And his subordinates are going to be helping helping him as well. With Tanaka, Takashi, Gen, Okuyama in the background. Doing that. And, see, yes. Yeah, so right now, like I said, the firemen are currently trying to put out the fire at the Grand Pharmaceutical Company, which is... I mean, there's not really much left of it now. Yeah, we see Ko watching watching this in his little tr inside of his truck where K trapped him inside of just so Ko can stay out of the way because yeah, Ko is gonna be in an annoyance for K. I don't know how he can how he gets some connection within that truck or just enough electricity to power that his stupid TV or whatever. I don't know how how is he how's he doing that, but yeah, we see K watching TV. He's wa he's definitely watching this battle on TV right now. I mean, K he's not even doing anything. He hasn't been doing anything for a, quite a while now. I mean, the last thing he's actually done something was just trap Ko inside of this truck, and then that's it. He's ever, he hasn't done much else then. And, and yeah, he also fought Sato for him. But K, you see, uh, he's really lazy. You know, yeah, he's brilliant but lazy. He's kind of like Shikamaru Nara from Naruto. Just that comparison there. I mean. Yeah, he can come up with all these brilliant tactics, and yeah, he does know a lot too, similar to Shikamaru. But they're both extre extremely lazy. I mean, they just they just don't want to fight anyone. They just they don't also care about that many people. I mean, K even more so. K does really does not care about anyone's life. He just wants to just be lazy, just to eat, sleep, doesn't just not think at all in general. Just you know, just live a peaceful and quiet life. That's all he wants, and. He's not getting that as much ever since yeah ever since he he's became a Naji, his life is has turned into hell pretty much, and K does not like that. So I mean yeah right now K is loving his life. He's just living in this luxury. Yeah for for him this is luxury. I mean it's all peaceful and quiet. That's definitely luxury for K. And I got I mean he, K couldn't ask for more than this really. But yeah we did cut right here to where Tosaki and Sokabe are just watching this this fiery hellstorm from the from the remains of the Grand Pharmaceutical Company that a lot of people died in and now it's just Firestorm. I'm, I'm surprised that Dust Storm didn't erupt from this building. I mean, I know it's not the twins, the, the, I, I mean, yeah, sorry. I know it's not like one of those giant towers that are around this city right now. Like that Sato didn't, that didn't even hit, but I'm surprised it didn't cause a huge dust storm that would have killed a lot of people at the same time, but yeah. I mean, it didn't, then Sato, has, Sato looks up in the sky and sees Okuyama's drone breaking Okuyama. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, he sees Okuyama's drone breaking Sato with the guns that he needs in order to fight the the Metropolitan Police Department Special Assault Team. Yeah, that's what they're called. I'm just going to call them the Assault Team because it's shorter. Yeah, Sato is definitely going to be using this shotgun. Yeah, he's, that's all he's going to be using, just one shotgun. It's all he needs. Just his shotgun, his IBM. Yes, Sato is also surprised to see how the, 
the assault team is also going to be using this different tactic in order to capture Sato. Yes, they're going to be just keep on killing him, Sato, just so Sato can't get a chance to recover, to reset. So, yeah, they're going to keep on killing him. Squad 2 is going to come out, keep on shooting him again. Squad 3 is yeah, Squad 2 is going to reload. Squad 3 is going to show up and keep on shooting at Sato. Then they're going to reload. They're going to keep on switching over and over again until someone stops them and gives Sato a chance to fight back. Yeah. Of course, that's going to definitely gonna come to play in Chapter 21, but we're going to see what happens there with that, but yeah. Also, this bald guy who's talking to Tosaki states how, hey, why don't they use the tranquilizer darts? Like, I thought, aren't those the most effective ways to capture an Aji? Why don't they use that? I mean, Tosaki says how technically tranquilizers are illegal to be used in Japan, and yes, that brings up the question. I mean, even the bald guy says how... Wait, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, vets can also use tranquilizers, I mean, to capture fleeing animals, right? I mean, what do you mean they're illegal? Well, yes, I mean, that's when we call the vet, the vet, vets, yeah, the vet people to come in so they can, we can, so, yeah, so we can use their tranquilizer darts in order to capture our genes. That's when we use them, but we're not going to be using them right now for this method. We're going to be using my method I, that I told the assault team to use and that is to keep on killing Sato over and over again and not give him a chance to reset so yeah that's the plan here that's what Sato is going to be that's what Sato is going to be dealing with while he's fighting against the assault team they're not even going to give him a chance to reset at all so yeah it's going to be problematic here and like I said before all of Japan is going to be seeing this this is, going, this is being broadcasted by Sato himself live so all of Japan can can pretty much bet on who will win, Sato or the Metropolitan Police Department Special Assault Team, which one will win. So yeah, that, that's up to the public of Japan and pretty much the entire world as well to decide who will win. And now let's see. Yeah, like it was said before, Sasaki cannot afford to lose this. He cannot afford for the Metropolitan Police Department Special Assault Team to lose this battle. So yeah, Sasaki is definitely going to have to hope that the Assault Team wins this one. Which they probably won't, to be honest with you, because, like, of course they're dealing with Sato, so yeah, it's not going to be easy at all. They're definitely going to need all the help they can get, but no one's there to help them, to save them from Sato. I mean, they're, they're all going to die. Uh, let's see. And yeah, K is just watching this from his house, just not giving a damn, just eating. What's he eating? I think, yeah, he's eating like this, this sausage maybe. Yeah, just just having a good time eating his sausages, his Japanese sausages or whatever. I mean, the dad's Miss Yamanaka is cooked up for him. Because, uh, yeah, and, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, even Soka Bay is looking upon this as well. It's like, whoa, he can't even move. That's right, we're gonna keep on killing him over and over again. Soka Bay, as you can clearly see, as this is being broadcasted by Sato himself. It sucks, I mean, I kind of prefer this to be secretive, but I guess that's how the question here. So yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Enjoy the fight between the Assault Team versus Sato and his possible team that might be around the crap, crap, crap. Yeah, so that's what Sasaki has to deal with right now. But yeah, that's the end of the chapter review, everybody. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, comment down in the comment section below if you have anything you want to say. But yeah, that's it for the video, everybody. Thanks for watching, and bye. Yes, yeah, so bye.